Hi. Hi there. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. This must be your first time here. I was just testing, pushing all the little buttons to see. Well, are you the host? I am. I'm Jill Celeste. It's nice to meet you. Hi, my name is Patty. Nice, nice to meet you, Patty. Hi, Judy. Hi. Patty, are you a guest of somebody? Um, yes, Debbie. Oh, good. Yeah, Debbie will be here in a minute. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to carry my computer into my office. I'm okay, right. no problem. Go get situated. Absolutely. How are you, Judy? I'm great. How are you doing? Good. Good. I'm looking forward to your presentation today. Yeah. Yay. But I get on early so you wouldn't wonder. <laughs> Where's my speaker? <laughs> I've been in networking meetings where the speaker hasn't shown up, and then I, I was like, they all go, uh, Jill, do you mind doing a presentation real quick? <laughs> I guess I can always talk about something. Well, yeah. I mean, you can. You can, you can yeah. always pull something out, but it's nice <laughs> to know that what you planned is going to happen. <laughs> are you sharing slides today, or are you just talking? I've got three really basic slides I can share if there's a way to do that. There is, um, when you hover down to the bottom of the Zoom screen, there's a share screen button. When yep. it's time, you just touch that and off you go. All righty. Pretty painless. Patty, okay. where, are you, where are you from? I am from Ellicott City, Maryland. Oh, okay. Oh, you just had all that flooding. Yes, we did. Yeah. <laughs> been terrible. My office is actually a three-minute walk from Main Street. Mm. So um, I did have to close, and I just opened um, again yesterday, actually, because we didn't have electricity, and there were a lot of um, emergency vehicles and tow trucks and helicopters and all of that going by, so it was, it was quite noisy. Um, yeah. Mm. So Debbie, Debbie invited me, like, I guess it was a week ago, and I didn't look at it until last night. <laughs> you sound like me. <laughs> and while I've, I'm flooded with um, clients and people, you know, worried about me and my office and that kind of thing, and my yard is washed away, and oh, <laughs> it's kind of a mess here. That's, that's sad. I'm sorry that happened to you all. Well... I think it's going to get some government workers um, more aware of, of environmental, the, you know, the impact that building has, et cetera. So it could be a blessing in disguise. I don't yeah. know. Um, I, I always try to look at the positive thing. Yeah, I agree. I know, because that happened to you a couple years ago as well, because I've been friends with Debbie for years. Okay, so yes, this is the second time. So that's why I think it can't be ignored. So... But so when, I, when I opened up the invitation, I saw that um, the subconscious mind was part of, of the, um, yeah, the Judy, that's our Judy is a member, but she's our speaker today. As I'm well. so excited because yeah. I'm a hypnotherapist and that's, I use the subconscious mind and I know that um, Psych K is something that Bruce, Bruce Lipton, Dr. Yeah. Lipton, um, really endorses and I'm a big fan of his. I've been reading his stuff for many many years so yeah it's it's actually what he personally uses so yeah I get a lot of people I find a lot of clients because they read him and it's the top oh. of the resources and they follow the trail <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm interested to find out what the difference is between what you do and what I do as a hypnotist mm -hmm. um, I, can, I can tell you a few things like that maybe offline Okay, I'm very yeah. interested in that. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'll have my contact information at the end of it. So feel free to, you know, give me a call or send me an email. We'll set up a time to talk about okay. it. Okay, and where are you? Um, in Tam Tampa area, Tarpon Springs, Florida. Oh, okay. Warm and sunny, I assume, huh? Uh, warm and muggy. Yeah, hot, <laughs> humid. I'm in Tampa too. It's warm and muggy. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Debbie. Hi. Um, as we get logged in, more hi. Hi, De look at Debbie. Woo! Wow, girl. Got my hairs cut. Ah, see, it makes you like everything then flows. After Lovely. Time. Yes. If everybody could open their chat box and type in your name, first and last name, in your email address. Patty, this is how we do attendance at a virtual networking meeting. <laughs> Hi, Patty. Hey. So, so where's the chat? If you kind of hover toward the bottom of the Zoom, window uh, you'll see some options that kind of they you have to hover is it where it says participants yep it this should is the chat oh, yeah are so you on a mac it, i think it shows up different okay there we go 
the thing that says chat. Here comes Honey. Hi, Honey. Hi, hi. I'm gonna give everybody just another minute or two to get logged in, and then we will get started. Honey, make sure you go in the chat box, sweetie, and do your name, email, please. I'm excited for our speaker today, Judy. I've been dying to know what she does, and since, since I met her, I don't know, a month or two ago. So I totally, for my own purposes, I'm very excited about our, our presentation today. I think we're all going to get a lot out of it, too. Um, Good. I'm looking forward to it. Patty found the chat box. Yay, Patty! <laughs> That's success number one for the day. Yeah, that's it. You're, you're, all, you're done. Done for the day. So, may I say you look lovely? What a pretty top with a pretty necklace. Like you just oh, look lovely. Thank you. I feel very patriotic today in my red, white, and blue. I should have worn mm -hmm. this on next week on flag day. Maybe I'll pull back out the yeah, closet. Mary Beth's still waking up. She's wiping her eyes. Mary Beth's a <laughs> night owl. I'll tell you what, stuff in the air too. I thought it'd be all over with, but there's still stuff flying around. Mm -hmm. I see I'm here too. I'm still feeling the effects from my sinus yeah. infection. Ugh. Oh, oh yeah. Crazy. All right, ladies, we will go ahead and get started. I can say ladies, right? All ladies. Um, we will go ahead and get started. I think a couple more people pop in, but we'll welcome, welcome them, but I want to keep us on time. Uh, so thank you for coming today to Virtual Networkers. Uh, we have a special guest today, Patty. Um, so thank you for coming today, Patty. Thank you, Debbie, for inviting her. Um, we are going to uh, start our meeting with our 30 second commercials slash elevator speech slash pitch, whatever it is you like to call it. Um, how that works is we just uh, go around the room and I, it's because we are not in a in-person place, I pick you. <laughs> That's how, we, how you know you go next. Um, so we will go around the room and do our 30 second commercials. And then once that is done, we will, um, I will introduce Judy and have her uh, do her presentation about Psych K and her and Patty have already hit it off because they have commonalities there, which I love. And then uh, once uh, Judy is done, we'll open up for questions for Judy. And then at the end, we'll open it up for announcements, anything that you want to announce. So that'd be awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and get us started. I'll go first for a change. I'm always like forgetting myself. So how about that? Jill will go first. Uh, so hi, everyone. I'm Jill Celeste uh, from JillCeleste.com in the Celestial Circle. I teach purpose-driven entrepreneurs how to market their businesses with love and authenticity, how to become the director of marketing for your business, so that you're always putting your marketing tasks first, which helps you always get clients and make more money, which is what we're after, right? More clients. So thank you all for being here. Um, Patty, you want to go ahead and go? Sure. My name is Patty Sapp. Um, I am from Ellicott City, Maryland, and I am the owner, the practitioner, and the instructor at Quiet Time Hypnosis. And I help people use their subconscious mind in order to create changes in their behaviors because every behavior starts with a thought. So if we change your thoughts, we can change your behaviors. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you for being here. We're so glad you are here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Judy, want to go ahead and do a Absolutely, sure. Never miss an opportunity for that. So I'm Judy <laughs> Kane, and my business is called Aligned Consciousness, and I help people rewrite subconscious self-limiting beliefs using a process called Psych K. People come to me for three main reasons. The big, you know, heart-stopping emotions like phobia, trauma, grief, or if they've got goals they're trying to hit and they just don't seem to be able to get there for some apparent reason, or physical symptoms of stress. So, mm. Judy Kane, Aligned Consciousness. We are glad you're here and looking forward to hearing more from you. Debbie. Hi, I'm Debbie of DebraKeevan.com, and I help visionary entrepreneurs really claim their stories and share so that they can attract magnetically their ideal clients. Um, so thank you for having me. Yay, glad you. Another Marylander in the house. Uh -huh. <laughs> Moving over to Virginia, Mary Beth. <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, Mary Beth Decker with sacredgrove.com. I'm in Alexandria, Virginia, um, you know, south of the, <laughs> south of the uh, 495 craziness. <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about. I'm pointing to, yes. Um, I'm an intuitive animal communicator, and I, uh, I help people tune into their animals. I have that ability and let you have two-way conversations with, the, with you. Uh, when you want to find out about behaviors that are, or or 
it seems like they have emotions that are bothersome or or worrisome, even to the uh, in, even to end of life issues. So that's what I do. Thanks. We're glad you are here. And by the way, Patty, if you have a cat, don't be surprised when the cat appears because Mary Beth just draws the animals, and all of a sudden we see cat tails uh, in the army. <laughs> <laughs> I started talking as soon as the camera went to her. Yeah. yeah. There you go. There you yes. go. Uh, honey, you want to go next? Oh, I think you're muted, honey. I know it's not making a noise. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm Hanne Bröter from yourbrownvision.com and um, I am a Norwegian, but I live in Sweden. And I'm a graphic designer and a visual brand strategist or manager. And I help uh, passion and purpose driven um, entrepreneurs and business owners make their businesses look as good as they know they are. Yes. So they can attract their ideal clients and take their businesses to the next level. We are glad you're here, honey, representing the <laughs> European Union. <laughs> so Connie Jo disappeared. Should we do elevator speech for her? Let's see. Connie Jo Miller is based out of Atlanta, Georgia, north of Atlanta. Oh, there you go. Connie, I was going to do your elevator <laughs> speech for you. <laughs> You're muted. <laughs> it, was brilliant. it was brilliant what you said. Wasn't it good? Compelling. On target. I'm Connie Cho Miller and um, of Enigma Bookkeeping Solutions, and I am a bookkeeper and financial coach. I make sure that you have impeccable tax and audit ready books. I take the, the tasks of bookkeeping um, out of your hands so you have more time to spend with your clients. And um, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. And that's it. That's uh, as far as I got. I got your name and your location. I did all right. <laughs> I did a little business name thing. <laughs> I'm going dark again. All right, Connie Joe, make sure you do the chat box typing. Name. I will. Thank you, sweet. I will. Okay, we are going to move into our guest presentation now, and let me just move this over so I can read Judy's bio. <laughs> I am very, very honored and pleased to welcome Judy, who is a member of Virtual Networkers, but she's also our speaker today. Judy is a Psych K facilitator and the, found, the founder of Aligned Consciousness. She has extensive training in Psych K and has been working with this modality since 2011. She helps clients both face-to-face -face in her Palm Harbor, Florida office, and also virtually using video conferencing. And you can visit her website at alignedconsciousness.com to learn more about her. And we're gonna learn more about her in just a second. So thank you. I'm gonna give you the reins. You're welcome to share the screen if you want, Judy, or talk, or both, whatever you like to do. Yeah, I am going to share the screen, hopefully. <laughs> There you go. And there, okay, cool. All right, so I am Judy Kane, and my business is called Align Consciousness. Ooh, and that's the last screen. I mean, that's the last, hold on. It came up to the, there we go. <laughs> so what I'm gonna be talking about is Site K, what it is, and who could benefit from it. So um, I, I mentioned the three categories that people come to me for. Psych K is a process where you use muscle testing to communicate with the subconscious. And um, the, the three general categories keep my clients really interesting because I never know why they're coming in to see me. And they're all so different. But I work with people who have these major you know, emotions that make them it, hard to function for, a, you know, a short period or a long interval, it, you know, it, it varies. But trauma, phobias, grief, uh, those types of things that are just overwhelming emotions that make it so that you really can't um, function effectively. Uh, it's a particularly good modality to use with trauma because it's, um, it's really gentle. People don't have to go back into whatever the trauma was. They don't need to relive it. If they don't know it, they don't need to discover what it was. 
it works with the present and the belief system. So, and if they do know it, they don't need to tell me, which many of my clients have found very helpful that they don't have to, um, that, you know, there are some things that are just really hard to talk about. So they don't, they don't need to. We work directly with the emotion in that case and, um, and take care of it from there. Phobias are fabulous for, with Psych-K. I've never had a client take a full hour to get rid of a phobia. So um, that's always a, a huge relief for people that are suffering from, from some sort of phobia. Uh, the self-sabotaging behaviors, preventing goal achievement, sounds like it's all business oriented, but that can be pretty much any kind of goal that you've got it could be about relationships it could be about health it could be it can be about business it can be about you know anything that you're wishing was different in your life and you're trying to change it and it's just not happening for you so um you know it can be as simple as never getting the the appointment straight on your calendar or you know it can be just um such hesitation that you don't go out and, and can't do all of the actions that you know you need to do to, to achieve those goals. Um, and it's, um, it's, it's interesting, you know, what types of things people have that keep them from getting where they want to be. The physical symptoms of stress, um, that's where people seem to have the biggest biggest like amazement if they come in a lot of times they're chronic conditions you know stress causes physical symptoms and it's beliefs that cause the stress so if you can change the beliefs the stress goes away and then the symptoms can go away and so you can have people that have had something that has been chronic for quite a while maybe a mobility thing or an ache or a pain something that they notice right there that they have and you know they can do some changes of beliefs and and i'll say so can you and sometimes it's um, you know quick and sometimes it's it takes a while but a lot of times it's right then i can say well, can you tell the difference and it's like oh my gosh yes i can <laughs> you know it's like this they can do their arm that way or you know something that they hadn't been able to do for a while so it's it's that's that's uh something that always catches people off guard that it can be that simple so um, Psyche K is, is all about subconscious beliefs, and subconscious beliefs control about 95% of our behavior. That's a conservative estimate. <laughs> and we get them, as humans, we're programmed to, um, for the first six or seven years of our life, to be a sponge, basically, to absorb everything we can about the environments, environment so we have a better chance of surviving. And that probably worked really well a long, 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 long time ago. <laughs> but now, you know, a lot of the stuff we're absorbing is not helping us. It's not supporting our conscious goals. It's nothing that is really important. Um, it's, it's kind of, you know, making it very difficult for us to do a lot of the things that we want to do. So, and you get these beliefs from obviously your family but then you get them from you know, society in general, there's social media, there's TV, there's school, there's whatever organizations your family belongs to. I mean, it's like where, just wherever, the little kids are just, like, they're just soaking it up because it's their way of figuring out how the world works. So you could have, um, the, the example I always use with, with people who come in to work with get, having better success is what if you're somehow got the belief that money is the root of all evil? Your subconscious is going to do its very best to keep you safe from that evil. And so as, as much as you do to, 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 you know, earn that money or keep that money, you know, it's working even harder to make sure that you are safe from it. So, it's a real struggle to get, particularly get more than you actually need, because that's what's common in a lot of families of, you know, well, it's really, you don't want to be the person who wants more than they actually need. So, you know, anything over that is, it, you know, if you can earn it, you'll probably lose it somewhere uh, <laughs> and, and just struggle with it. And it's, you know, it's not a conscious thing. It's just in there playing and you can change those things. So, um, 
Site K was developed in the 80s by a guy named Rob Williams. He, he lives in Colorado. And um, it's, we use muscle testing, kinesiology. I don't know if y'all are familiar with that, but uh, that's how we communicate with the subconscious. And it's designed to get people basically in a whole brain state, which means both hemispheres of the brain are, are you know, open to whatever it is you're trying to um, introduce at that particular moment. And that's the best way to change a subconscious belief. They, um, there are different uh, ways. Every, every time you change a belief, it's called a balance. And so there are different balances you can use and you muscle test to figure out what the best way is to change a particular belief in, in that particular person at that particular time. So it's a variety of ways you can approach things. Um, but it, it takes literally, you know, usually less than five minutes to change any particular belief. Now, a lot of things are more complex. So there's a bunch of beliefs supporting the issue that you're trying to change, but a given belief is usually pretty quick to change. So it's a, a fast way of doing things. Um, people are usually surprised at, at how simple it is to change something. So um, how did I get here? <laughs> I, I spent most of my life in Richmond, Virginia. I moved to Florida a little less than three years ago. And almost all my life I was in IT, you know, computers. And most of that time I was in management. So I'm a process person, I'm a data person. Gosh, my major in college was statistics. I'm, I'm not that, you know, um, I, I don't channel things. I, I have none of those special gifts. Uh, and I didn't have much, I didn't disbelieve in alternative modalities. I just didn't know much about them. Um, but when I married my former husband, second husband, he had a lot of connections with people who did know about alternative modalities. So I got a little bit more exposure to just what was out there. And then I saw something work on him that was, that convinced me this was possible. When I finally heard about Psych K, it just resonated with me because it, it really, it doesn't need special intuition. It, it, you, you're not channeling anything. It's a set of processes. It's, it's pretty analytical actually <laughs> of narrowing it down to figure out what the belief is that's, that's actually uh, contributing to the, the issue that you're trying to solve. And um, so it, it looked like something I could actually be effective at. And so I took my first class in 2011 and have been taking, you know, I've taken all the workshops they offer, most of them multiple times. I've sponsored them. I've had practice sessions in my house, both up in Richmond and down here for people who've taken workshops to, to get um, more familiar with what they're supposed to be doing. So um, I started the business up in 2014 um, because I was doing it with myself and friends and family, well, not family so much, they're still looking at me a little strangely, but uh, <laughs> I've been doing it with, with many people up to that point in time. And I thought, well, you know, I, I should make this a business. And so I love it. It's, um, if I won the lottery, I would go be finding, you know, free places to help people with this because it's just a very rewarding, um, energizing type of thing for me to do. So what happens in the session is people usually come in and have something they want to change. I have had a couple of people come in that really didn't know what they wanted to change and that was interesting. But generally they come in and they know what is, is, is bothering them. And so we talk about what they would rather be experiencing and we take it from there. We, if it's the big emotions, then we go straight to those. If we, um, if it's something else, then we figure out statements that sound kind of like affirmations and we must about things that they want to be true. And then we muscle test them. And if their subconscious doesn't believe that statement, then we change, we write the subconscious to believe that, that statement. It's pretty much that simple. Um, and we just go through, you know, statement after statement until we've done all the statements that are needed for that particular issue. So people always like to hear who comes in, you know, samples of, of what types of things I've done. My favorite um, 
phobia story is somebody I network with, and she has told this story several times in networking groups. So I, I you know, I feel okay sharing her story. Uh, she is a very uh, literal, practical, numbers-driven person, and she's always been very polite, listening to me talk about psyche in the networking meetings. And then she made an appointment, which surprised me a little bit because I, she just didn't look like she was going to be one of the first ones to show up at my door. And uh, she had a, a phobia with flying and she flies you know, several times a year. And it's always just like a horror for her. Just, you know, gut wrenching days of, of anxiety beforehand and during and, you know, a good day of recovery afterwards. It's just a, a really it was, she thought she would try this because if it worked, she was, it would make a big difference in her life. But, so, um, you know, we, we did a few, th a few balances for the, for the flying and didn't take the whole hour. So we did some more things because we had the time. Um, and she had a flight set up for a couple of weeks after that. And um, I was waiting for the next networking meeting to see how it went. And I saw her and it was like, um, I said, so how did it go? And she said, well, it was the worst of all possible situations. Her flight had gotten canceled. She'd gotten put on another plane in the back of the plane in a middle seat. Uh, she was off schedule. I mean, all the, you know, all of the pieces and parts of this were really inconvenient and uncomfortable. But she said, as far as the flying itself went, she was fine. So she says, I don't know how it worked. I don't know why it worked, but it worked, you know, and everybody laughed at her when she said that. Um, and that was about, I don't know, that was about a year ago, a couple of months ago, she stood up and said, just wanted to give everybody an update, had another flight. It's still working. So <laughs> she's, yeah, it's, um, she she has told clients of hers, you know, that I I'm surprised she's brought it up when I'm around. But you know, she's a big advocate of this, and uh, the flying is just not an issue for her anymore. And uh, in terms of like the self sabotaging behaviors, my one of my favorite examples is from back up in Richmond. Uh, there was this. We had a practice group that met twice a month at my house, and it was usually it was there was a core group of people that knew how to do psych K that came there to practice. But we also had people come in to learn about psych K or who had something they thought maybe we could help them with. And uh, there was a young woman who came in. She was in her late twenties. She was a manager of a retail women's clothing store, and they had Friday afternoon conference calls to go over sales numbers and problem solve. And she had such a fear of speaking in front of people that she could not contribute ideas. It wasn't video conference. It was just a phone conference call. She could not um, contribute to those. She could say the sales numbers, but when it came to ideas about trouble solving or creative approaches to things, she couldn't, she couldn't contribute at all. And this was not going to help her career and she knew it. And so she was friends with the daughter of one of our regular members and she came in and she was like, her body language was shoulders up, head down, no eye contact. She went and found a big chair and tried to disappear in the chair. But that wasn't unusual because she didn't know who any of us were or what we were going to be doing. So, you know, a lot, it would have been odd for people to just strut on in. Uh, when we got around to her and heard what the issue was, um, she didn't really know why she was like that, but when we started this, you know, questioning a little bit more about it, asking when it started, it started when she was in first grade and she had been in the classroom and a teacher had asked a question and she didn't raise her hand, but the teacher called on her anyway. And she gave the best answer she could and the teacher made fun of her. It was all it took for, you know, over a de what, over two decades of misery and an inability to express herself in front of people for fear of that humiliation. So uh, the, the balance she was doing, she was sitting in a chair and you could see her as she was doing it, you know, her, her shoulders started straightening up and her, her head, her neck got longer, you know, and her head came up. And when it was done, which took less than five minutes, she kind of glanced around the room, made eye contact with a couple of people, went, sat down again, she, her body language remained open the rest of the, the evening while she was there. She left. We never saw her again, but we heard she went on to be a trainer for her company. 
took, yeah, it took five minutes, you know, to, it's just, that's the type of stuff that people don't get, that you don't have to live with these things, that you really, there are ways to change them. So um, the physical symptoms of stress, I, I have this guy that's been coming to me for some goal oriented sessions. And he threw in a, a comment about sciatica a, a couple of sessions ago. And he said it was really bad. You know, he's been going to acupuncturist and a stretch massage person and a doctor. You know, he's, he's like, it's, he's had it for a while and it's just really been giving him a problem. So we threw in a couple of balances for his sciatica. Um, and at, when we, after we'd done them, I said, can you tell the difference? with what we did and he kind of he leaned over and he said you know it doesn't feel like it used to and I said well, that's good you know so he came in last week for the next session and I said first thing I asked him was so how is the sciatica and he's going it's it's not there he said co-workers have been saying where's your limp he said his family has been grilling him and he doesn't know how to tell him why because his family is not open to this type of thing and and he didn't he doesn't know what to tell him. It's, you know, it's like, uh, <laughs> I think they think he's been going to a psychologist because he did, he just, he didn't know how to explain an energy psychology. So he was, but he says it was totally gone, you know, and, and he was just like, his eyes were like big and it was, it was funny. Um, so that was, that was happy news. So, um, I'm not sure how my time is going, but, Oh, I work with people. I work with individuals. I work with them person to person um, in the Tampa area. And I've actually added a new office um, <laughs> in the last week that I work out of on Monday afternoons. Um, but And then I also work with people video conferencing, Skype or Zoom or, you know, whatever it is, FaceTime, whatever it is they've got that works for them. And um, I can do the remote stuff by... Um, if you're familiar with Reiki and a lot of other modalities, there's a surrogation component that is possible if you've had some of the advanced classes. It's the same way with Psyche. So you can kind of go into surrogation to do the muscle testing and they do the rest of the process themselves. Uh, but I'm also looking to build up my relationship with coaches and um, other people who see people on a regular basis that can come in with, with, issues like physical therapists uh, can have people come in with they have the knots in the same place every week well it, it's it's probably a belief that's causing that knot to keep coming up and so you can change that but I work with coaches because I don't do behaviors I just do beliefs so if people are working with clients who are seem to have a, a some sort of a block to achieving whatever it is they're coaching them on um, I'm in several coaches programs where they just get a free session with me if they sign up for a package. Um, but I have others that just refer over to me. They'll come over. I can help them work through whatever those subconscious beliefs are that are keeping them from making progress. Then they can go back to the coaches for all the knowledge and, and accountability and information and all the good stuff that, that the coaches provide. Um, and it, it helps the coach look successful too, you know, if the clients can achieve those goals easier. So uh, that's what I'm looking for is relationships with coaches where I can help their clients become successful. Uh, so I'm open for any questions. That was awesome, Judy. If you want to go ahead and stop uh, the, slayer, the slide share, I'll get the words out while we um, get the questions going. And I see Jen Klein Clark has joined us. Hi, Jen. Uh, she snuck in during Judy's presentation at some point, or maybe right before. So who has some questions for Judy? <clears throat> Who's got a limiting belief? <laughs> I've not gotten to the bottom of my list yet, and I do it daily. <laughs> More than one, right? Oh, uh, gosh, that's so, it's so true. Go ahead, Mary Beth. Uh, Judy, um, talk about why people come in for... Um, say more than one session what would it, when you say people are coming back to you um how did how do they structure what how do they decide that, that they want to do it multiple sessions what, what kind of things come up for them you know the ones that seem to be more um 
multiple session oriented are things around success. There's so many beliefs that are around success and, you know, it's, I assume it's possible to get to that linchpin belief really quickly, but a lot of times it's more, and I don't use the word like an onion. It's more like an avocado. I mean, like an artichoke. <laughs> you pull off a leaf here and you pull off a leaf and you keep, you know, kind of circling around until you get to the center of it. Um, sometimes it's, you, you muscle test to make sure it's safe to do the change. I, I really like that about Site K because not oh. all modalities do that. Sometimes there's a sequence that has to be gone through. It's not safe to go straight to a place sometimes with, with a person. You have to kind of get some supporting beliefs changed before you can go in and do some others. Interesting. Yeah. Thanks. Mary Beth has some Reiki background, so I know she her ears pick, probably perk up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead, Debbie. So I'm actually ironically familiar with muscle testing in that um, my chiropractor uses it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm kind of curious, like, like I know, like, you know, there's, you know, you, how do we, how do you do that remotely? I'm just kind of curious. That's where I go into surrogation and I do the muscle. What testing. does that mean? Okay. It means I kind of tap into their energy. Oh, okay. And I'm testing as them. Okay. There's a protocol in Site K that lets you do that. I'm not, I'm really not channeling anything. It's, <laughs> I wish I had those gifts and I don't, or I haven't, I haven't uncovered them yet. <laughs> that is cool. Maybe it's a limiting belief. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah I know. I know. I, I absolutely. You're tapping into energy, so. <laughs> yeah. You're probably more yeah. intuitive than you give yourself credit for, Judy. <laughs> well, it, it, everybody's intuitive and everybody, you know, experience helps build up intuition. You know, it's, it's not like I'm clueless, but... <laughs> You know, I I've, I've have friends that are psychics and I mean, they really, they're tapping into another place. Mary Beth probably does tap in somehow, you know, with a different awareness. And um, that's not a necessary component for Psyche. <laughs> I have a question. Okay. Oh, hey, hey. Yeah. Um, I actually am very intuitive. I am not a psychic and I don't talk to dead people or any of that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but... I can feel energy really, really clearly. So if someone's in my office and I'm face to face and not doing the virtual kind of a session, I many times know if someone is either telling me the truth or if there's more to it. Mm -hmm. And I simply ask questions, mm -hmm. kind of open-ended, um, gentle questions so that we can really set the goal. Right. Um, so with what you're describing, rather than asking so many questions and having those conversations, muscle testing, let's, let's see what your body tells us. Well, Would we you... start with the conversation and okay. then we verify with the muscle testing. The verification. Yeah. So yeah. my next question is, do you teach this? As... I, I arrange workshops. I am not an instructor. Okay. And if I were to go on your website, would I be able to find like say a list of instructors and yeah. there's, and that? there's okay. a link for that. Mm -hmm. okay. Absolutely. Cause I'm thinking this would, um, this would work, um, in, in harmony with what I do. Absolutely. Very yes. Naturally, very Absolutely. easily. Um, very rarely do I do regressions and like we don't go back to the original cause very often because um, research doesn't really show through hypnosis that that is the best way. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we, uh, we're in the present moment. We don't talk about problems. We talk about solutions. So a lot of what you say completely resonates with me. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking it would, it would work very well with what I do. So I know several hypnotherapists that have taken Site K and have added that to their practice. Yeah, I'm going to do some investigation. Um, okay. yeah. I'm here for a reason. <laughs> Aren't we all? I love it. I love it. That's awesome. Who else has a, a question or comment? Go ahead. Another, and Judy, I got another question. So it seems like when I've had shifts, they've included a really strong emotional release. And you're talking about thinking so um you know 
I'm just curious. It seems to me there's got to be an emotional component, even though you're changing thoughts. Do you see emotions change as well? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Um, it, 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 it's a very emotional thing for some people, depending on what they're changing and where it is in their body. Uh, because the belief is energy too. So, but yeah, there's totally, um, but you'll see a lot of the, I keep Kleenex in the, in the office and it's an emotional thing depending on, on what happens to them. Mm. Yeah. And particularly if it's like a lot of people have come into me recently with childhood trauma, childhood abuse. And so there's a lot of stuff that gets released with that. Yeah. And how many sessions do most people um, do with you? It depends on the person, it I guess. It totally varies. You know, I'll have people come in. I've got a fair number that come in once, and I don't see them again because I don't follow. I've, it's, you know, they come in, they do their stuff, and, and then they go out. I don't track them for results and stuff. And so a lot of them I see because they come back or I know them anyway. And so I kind of know how they're doing. Others disappear. They'll come back in seven or eight months, something different they want to work on, you know. It worked, but they didn't need anything more right then. And then I have other people that actually sign up for a multi-session package because they know they've got a lot of work to do and they just want to go ahead and commit to that and get a little cut on the price. Yeah, why not, right? Well, I think we all have a long list of things to work on. <laughs> yeah. Even if all those who have done personal development, a lot of self-help like me and I like a lot of people here, it's, mm -hmm. it is what it is, right? It's kind of funny. Sometimes people come in and, they, and I'll tell them, you know, if they can get to the affirmation statements ahead of time, bring them in. It'll save that time in the session if they already know where they want to end up. Mm -hmm. And I've had people come in with prioritized affirmations that we just like knock down the list, like you know. That would and, be, that would I've, be had cool. other, I've had other people that are doing. She says they all tell me, "Oh, I've, I know I'm good with this because I've been doing these affirmations for 20 years." Mm -hmm. And so let's muscle test them and see, and you know, and it's weak, and and it's like they've been consciously working on it, but it hadn't gotten to the subconscious. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I was amazed by your statistic at 95 percent or more. Of our and that's conservative, the yeah. Conscious beliefs, you know, control our behaviors. Yeah, Bruce Lipton's now going, I think, with ninety-seven percent. A good majority. <laughs> it is, yeah. Is I mean, you you drive the car and you're thinking about something. You're, you know, it's your subconscious driving the car. They're looking out for all the stuff. It's all the automatic reactions and stuff. And yeah. you'll get someplace and you go, I don't even remember really getting yeah. here. You know, right? Yeah, subconscious. Yeah, I've done that sometimes when I'm walking and running, and all of a sudden I'm like. Oh, I passed this. I thought it, you know, yeah, you just kind of go yeah. get in the zone, I guess, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Any other okay. questions, comments? Yeah, go ahead, Debbie. Are there any, um, any issues that you don't work with? Like, are there things that you're like, yeah, that's really outside of my. Well, okay. <laughs> Not for an individual coming in. I have gotten a lot more um, questioning when people want to send somebody else into me to change. Mm. I'll, you know, it, it really needs to be the person who comes in who wants to change something. And um, so I've had, you know, significant others and mothers and siblings and best friends tell somebody they should come in and fix something. <laughs> so, and um, that this doesn't work if they don't want to change whatever it is that you know anything it it won't work that way you know they've got to want to change the thing they come in for but if the person comes in and it's something that they really want to change i i have not hit something that i would go Ooh, no don't do that um as long as it's about their perception of how their life is going hmm. you know so I'm I wonder, asking, Mary Beth, if the pets would tell you that the owner needs Site K. <laughs> uh, uh, well, it's interesting because um, a lot of times the pets do um, ask, some, they, not a lot of, but sometimes they do ask the owners to change their beliefs about the pet's behavior. <laughs> like, you know, so there is a little bit of that going on. So that's interesting. That, uh, <laughs> There might be a stronger way to get those owners to wake up. 
<laughs> sure. Yeah. I don't know about you, but if my pet told me something, I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> Not know. always. Not, yeah, I know. It's like, oh, no, no, I didn't want to hear that. <laughs> There's a reason they don't talk, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not like on the floor. <laughs> We're working on the dog, not me. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, any other comments or questions for Judy before we say thank you? All good? Well, this was, that was super informative, Judy. Thank sure. you so much. I think all of us got a lot out of that um, presentation and everything that you um, that you do. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thanks. Yeah, and if you got other questions, I'm, I always love talking about it. Email me. <laughs> Call me. It's it's fine. I uh, be glad to talk more and answer any other questions. And can you hear my guinea pigs coughing? Mary Beth, what did you do? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Jen Klein Clark, can you put your name and email in the uh, chat box if you haven't done so already? Thanks, sure. Thank you, sweetie. Um, so again, you have Judy's information if you have because uh, she's looking to connect with coaches, anybody who might work with people who need to just rewrite their subconscious beliefs. A nice compliment to a lot of what we do. Uh, hopefully Patty and Judy can connect offline. I know that they had some conversation going at the beginning. So I love that. I love when that happens. I love when sometimes I think things are fortuitous. We just kind of show up somewhere, Patty's first meeting and boom, here we are. Uh, so that's really cool. So that's really awesome. Hey Jen, do you want to do your elevator speech real quick? Did we lose you? She looks like she's frozen. She's Jen Klein Clark. Let me, let me do it. Let me do it. Yeah, you've got to make sure you do of all, all things. Oh, gosh. Jen, I'm Jen Klein Clark. I live in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. I am the publisher of Bucks County Coffee News. And I also am the founder of 99 Frogs, which is a fledgling new, hopping new uh, website for entrepreneurs and masterminding. Uh, so if you live in the Bucks County, Pennsylvania area, you want to advertise with Jen. Uh, if you know somebody in Bucks County, uh, it is a kind of like a, uh, it's like seat specific networking, but it's seat specific advertising. So only one realtor is in there, one photographer, that kind of thing. So that's Jen Klein Clark's business. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Probably like, you just butchered that, Jill. Um, so well, we all, we all, um, we all, <laughs> Jen Klein Clark is like uh, this ninja. She, yes. She call it when when she ninja. says something, we're all like, You've been Jen Klein Clark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she Jen Klein Clark me on Facebook over last night. She did. <laughs> really well. So we're going to go around the room now and do announcements. So this is your opportunity to announce something that you're working on, something you need clients for, ideal client, referral, anything at all. It's optional. You do not have to share anything if you don't have anything to share. Um, so I will start at the bottom. Connie Jo, are you, do you have any announcements today? <laughs> Um, the only thing is I, I, I'm working on a course and which I've never done before. So it's way out of my comfort zone, but, um, it, it's a course for startup businesses to, um, get off on the right foot, setting up their own books and just understanding what habits to do so that their bookkeeping isn't such a hassle for them. Mm. So, um, just putting the word out. Um, it's still in development, but let us know. Time Deputy is helping me. So I'm sure it's going to be wonderful because I got a good, a good coach there. Yay! I'm excited to see that for you. That's a great idea. Cause when you start a business, I, you, you know, most people don't have any idea what all they need to be doing. Yeah. It's more than just a shoe box. That's <laughs> more than a shoe box. <laughs> yeah. But it's a good start to have them in one place. So. Yeah, the shoebox isn't a terrible method. No, not <laughs> terrible, but it's <laughs> better. Or, you know, there's recording files. That was my favorite thing. Yeah. Files. yeah. At least it's organized, right? Uh, honey, any announcements from your neck of the woods? Uh, I have no announcements. I just wanted to say that I'm very eager to use my presentation that I did last week because yeah. now I have. <laughs> I have, after all, translated it into English, and uh, so I have it ready. So if any of you know any place I can do it online, I would be very grateful to hear about it. 
and I'm always looking for new purpose-driven entrepreneurs to work with. So any any referrals will be nice. Hmm? Yay! And I gave you Jen Flynn's information, so make sure. Yeah. You Thank you. <laughs> Debbie, any announcements? Um, I don't have any announcements, but I would love to invite you to follow me on Facebook at Deborah Keevan, writer and editor, because I'm just doing some real fun Facebook live things and uh, mostly just me musing and, and trying to inspire people. But I'd love just for you to in, invite you to come and join me on my page. Awesome. Feel free to put the link in the, uh, in the chat box for us. I will. Yay. Mary Beth, what's new and good? What's new in your world? What can you announce? Well, I got two things going on. Um, yay. On, on Monday is my monthly Fur Buddy Healing Circle. And it, um, it's, I get they have six, six animals and their people. Uh, we do a little bit of animal, into, animal communication and a lot of healing. As a, so it's a group session. It's very nice. And then um, Tuesday night, I'm doing a, a webinar called If I Could Talk to My Animal. And it's an introduction to what it would take to start doing your own animal communication. I've got a course that I put together. So um, it's, that one's free and uh, it was a lot of fun the first time I did it last month. And if you know anybody who might be interested in it, I'd love you to share it with either one of those with people. Love it. Make sure you put the link if you want in the, uh, yeah, Honey's like, put the link in, put the link in the chat box. <laughs> Is the Brandy come make an appearance, honey? I saw you open the door. Yes. <laughs> Brandy's a <laughs> <Pepper> Spaniel. <laughs> Mary Beth. Oh, uh, Judy Kane, any announcements for us? No, nope. she's like, I'm done talking with you people. No, nope, not this week. <laughs> um, I have just a quick announcement. Uh, I am hosting a mid-year planning day on Thursday, June 14th, starting at 11 a.m. Eastern. It's for four hours, goes till 3 p.m., and we're going to gather together and plan out the rest of 2018 from a marketing and business development standpoint. Um, I would love to have you there if you uh, need some help getting your marketing plan done. Um, I put the uh, what URL in the chat box and it is recorded. So if it's not a good time for you, I will send you the recording if you register so you can do it on your own time. So I'd love to see you there. I know a few of you are going to be there. So thank you for signing up. Patty, Patty. any announcements? Um, I do have a group event coming up June 20th. Um, for those of you who are in Maryland, I studied, I studied, I studied with, I studied with Weiss. If you are a holistic type, you've heard of him. He's very famous and he teaches past life regression. So I am doing a group past life regression on June 20th. Um, the beautiful vortex of all the energy of people that are in the room together really creates beautiful experiences. So um, anybody in Maryland that wants to experience that, contact me and I'll give you more information. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. I've got a boss. 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 Is there a, if you have anything online, Patty, I'm sorry. I, I got, I know two people are really interested in that stuff. So. Oh, yeah, I can my, chat box, my, um, my website, which is, um, it gives all the mm -hmm. information. So yes. I'm happy to do that. Thank you. <laughs> You're fine. I keep freezing up. I couldn't hear half of what she said, but I, kn I know what I did here was interesting. <laughs> well, you want to have Patty repeat? Patty, can you repeat what you did, what you uh, just said, the whole announcement again? I have a past life regression group experience available for people who are in Maryland, and it's on June 20th in the evening. It's uh, um, Wednesday evening at 730. I studied with Dr. Brian Weiss, who okay. is somebody you probably know of. He's a friend of Bruce Lipton's. <laughs> um, I got to study with him face to face, and it's it was an awesome awesome experience. And now I'm sharing what I learned with cool. others. Very cool. Very cool. There you go. Yeah, you, you you went in and out there, Patty, at the okay. beginning. I wanted to make sure everybody heard what you had to say. Jen Klein Clark, are you there? Yes, I am. So I apologize. I'm not good with Zoom on phone. I couldn't, I tried to get to the chat and I got lost. Oh. <laughs> you did a beautiful job. Yeah. So, so yeah, uh, uh, for 99 Frogs, I'm having two uh, 
Vision Board Workshops, Tuesday, June 26th. It's going to be local here in Bucks County, which is just uh, north of Philadelphia. And uh, that's all day. And then virtually, we're going to do it on Zoom Thursday, June 28th. Uh, and that'll be 10 to 2 with a little bit of prep homework. Uh, and then all of that is leading into a mastermind that's going to uh, take place uh, for the rest of the year. So if any of that interests you, um, I'll, I'll put, um, I, I think I'm going to put my email into the chat if I can figure okay. out how to. So well, I think you already have it in there, don't you, or no? Uh, no, I did. I was trying to get the chat, and then I just I got <laughs> you got lost. I don't know. <laughs> I'll add it for you, Jen. There oh, you yeah. go. That's awesome. Such good friends. So thank you, Jen. We're glad you're here, and I'm glad you and I'm glad I didn't put your elevator speech to bed. That was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't ask me ever that you know who was teach who said that Connie Joe was saying that she went to a networking meeting and they had to do each other's elevator speeches like they only had each other's business card and was it you Connie Joe who said was that you yes it was it was really fun yeah so we only had the business card to do the other person's elevator speech and it was a test to how well your business card is right how effectively you have everything on there I thought that was really cool so I have Jen's business card so I I'm sure I <laughs> Um, just a couple things before I let you all go into your Fridays. Um, for those of you who are not members of virtual networkers, I would invite you to join. You can come to up to three meetings outside of membership before I ask you to make a decision. Um, but if you'd like to join, this is a seat specific networking group. So uh, it really kind of locks in your seat and this is you know, intended for referrals. Um, so if you're interested in joining, the membership fee is only $175 for the year. Um, you get access to our group. You can be a guest at the other virtual networker group, which is now meeting at a new time. It meets on Mondays at noon Eastern. Um, and you can always go to the Keep It Local site under chapters, and you can see that, um, that Zoom link. But you're welcome to go there. Uh, it, those of you who already are members can go. You, you, um, Jen and Patty, you're welcome to go check that out as well, if, you, if that time works better or whatever. Um, but in order to hold that seat, for uh, chapter 601, you would have to pay another fee. So, you know, pick the one that works best for you, right? But it's 175 for the year. In addition to uh, access to the virtual networkers, um, you are technically part of a larger organization called Keep It Local. Uh, right now, Tampa Bay Bay based, but Laura's got big ideas. So uh, it's expanding um, as we speak. So uh, that's a membership of 500 people. So a lot of different opportunities bringing <laughs> up to uh, get you all connected to the local community through Facebook groups and other events. So we got some things brewing, ladies. Uh, so that's coming up. So if you're interested in joining, um, I, I will be emailing everybody here a, a replay of this presentation. So if you want to listen to Judy again or you needed that information, and in that email is also a copy of the chat box. So you can grab everybody's email addresses or Facebook URLs, all that information will be in the chat box, which will be attached to that email. Um, so, but also in that email is the membership information, so you can check it out. Uh, we are meeting next Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern. Uh, if you're interested in speaking, let me know. If not, I'll whip up something else. Um, we will not have a meeting the week of July 4th. Friday, so that'd be Friday, July 6th, I believe. I'm on vacation. <laughs> So all of us go on vacation, right? Um, so I think it's a good week to be off anyway. It's July 4th, for the, except for poor Hani. He's like, who cares about July 4th? I live in Sweden. Um, but uh, it's, a, you know, it's a big kind of holiday for us here in the, in the US. And so most of us will um, probably work in light anyway. So I'm not gonna have a meeting that week. So you can uh, not block that time on your calendar. Um, anything else? I think that's about it for now. We are still looking for members. So if you know anybody who runs a virtual business, um, coaches, consultants, travel agents, um, anybody who sells a product online, uh, we would love to welcome them. So if you know anyone who would be a good fit for us, uh, please extend an invitation for them to come to a future meeting. Thank you, Debbie, for inviting Patty. Um, it was delightful to meet Patty today. I hope you got a lot out of it today. I did. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, good. That's awesome. So, uh, any other questions? Anything else for the good of the order? Parliamentarian. So, um, with that, I will go ahead and conclude our meeting. It was great to see you all. I'll see you next Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern. Have a great weekend. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks.